We're going to try this again. This is the comparison of the RS-998 to the AC FT-710. So right now we're on the, we're on the RS-998. Look at all those signals. Great audio. I got a switcher box so it's easy to switch back and forth. Let's try the other one. I mean, this is close, I think. I think the audio in the RS-998 is better. This close to FT-710 is a great radio. I'm not seeing as many signals. In the band scope. I bumped the... Let's go back. They, they do good work and they got a quick turn around and they, they won't rob you blind. And you can just take your radio up there and drop it off, huh? Now I'd call them first. Will do. I appreciate that. Oh, you betcha. Well, come on. Come on, people talk. How was your day, Ken? I knocked it off frequency. Sorry about that, guys. Still a good radio. I mean, if you have a 710, you can't really go wrong. Oh, you're pretty good at doing nothing, Ken. And the speaker, one of the differences is the speaker's on top here and the speaker's in the front on the RS-998. I get, guess if you had the ESS speaker on it, you might get a better audio. Let's go look back at the other one. Gotten pretty good at the last few years. Yeah, yeah. Well, it don't take a lot of practice. You just kind of pace yourself. Can't have any practice for that. Hey, you know how. And they both receive, we'll both have great scopes. And I finally got my game go to the 3D scope. I'm not this much into playing games, but the graphics are pretty impressive. Come back over here. Oh, yeah. Go to the menu. Screen. I play those games. That's the first thing I had to look it off of mine. 3D. There we go. Of course, ones I get so cheap that they, they need all the RAM they can get. And I got a computer now that'll do whatever you ask of it. That's hard to beat. So let's go back to the other one. You can hear that Spanish guy in the back. He actually... Is I here, T.I.P.? Oh, yeah, I'm here. And you're right stronger than you were the other night. One of the things I do like over here is you got shift, width, notch, and contour. You don't really have that over here. Let me show you. The, on this, you can shift the, the low, I mean the low pass filter. I can bring that down. I can bring it up. Oops, I'm sorry. Let me do that again. So you can see it, you can see the filter shifting. And then I can do the, the high pass. Bring the bass in. And so you have that, which is similar. You have a, a notch filter as well, but it's not as easy 
you can't just when you do a shift, you can't shift both frequencies together. So. And I think to, the screen is good on this one, but I think the screen is better. You know, when I use these two, I lean toward. I lean toward this one just because I love the screen and I love the audio. So I'll leave it up to you guys. I'm glad I have both. Let me switch it back. So I'll leave it up to you guys to decide what you like better. I think. With the Yaesu, you have the Yaesu name behind it. With the wolf, you know, you're going by the warranty of the person who's selling it. So, either way, but I'll let you guys think about it. If you have any more questions, let me know.